Hey, what's up guys? Spencer Rhodes here. So, I've been thinking about The Walking Dead lately and how many seasons it's really going to get. I mean, a lot of people think it's going to be 12, maybe it'll be 20, 30, it'll just be... It'll just go on forever, or maybe it'll end in season 10 or 11, and there will be a new show, because The Walking Dead as a franchise is not going anywhere. It's like Star Trek or Star Wars. There's always or Marvel, you know, something like that, or The Simpsons. Like, there's, it's a brand. You know, it's a franchise. There's, there's always going to be a way that it will continue. It's never going to completely die it's just too popular. Um, even when the ratings go down or, or when episodes get criticized or, or you know, things like that. It, the, even if the show does end soon, even if it does end in, in the next few years, even if Fear of the Walking Dead gets canceled and The Walking Dead ends and both of those shows are over, The Walking Dead as a franchise will continue no matter what because there's always going to be money to be made. <laughs> it's a, a, um, in a perfect world, maybe The Walking Dead would just end someday, the franchise would just end someday, but it, it it's about the money, you know, as long as there's a way for it to make money. And there is, there are ways for it to continue to make money, whether it's t-shirts, action figures, uh, soda cans, uh, shower curtains, you know, there's just all kinds of things that The Walking Dead can still be, that people would buy, because it's still pretty popular. It might not be as popular as it used to be, but it's still popular, and it can still work as a franchise, but for the the main show, the original show, how long will it last? You know, I, I thought maybe it would last 14 or 15 seasons, but that was before Andrew Lincoln announced that he was leaving. I mean, I... I the way that Andrew Lincoln has always been in interviews, I really thought he was, he he was like ride or die. I mean, he wanted to do comic Rick's justice. He wanted to adapt that story, and maybe he did give up when Carl died. I I hope that's not what happened because um, people like comic Carl more than TV Carl. Um, people like TV Rick more than TV Carl a lot more. I mean, I know TV Carl has his fans, but for the most part, people, I think people liked Rick a lot more, and, and, and we're, people were more upset when it was announced that Andrew Lincoln was leaving. Andrew Lincoln's a better actor than Chandler Riggs, you know? I mean, I'm sorry, Chandler, but it's true. <laughs> um, and it just, it always seemed like Andrew Lincoln was, was dedicated and committed to, to telling this whole story, this whole Rick Grimes story. And I figured, you know, as long as he would stay, you know, actors like him, Norman Reedus, maybe Melissa McBride and Lenny James, you know, Lauren Cohan, as as long as those people stuck around, you know, maybe Jeffrey Dean Morgan, um, you know, there'd be there there'd be there'd be a TV show, you know, there there would be a story to tell that that could go on for for many more years. Um, there's just you know the five or six or seven characters like Michonne that that. that probably should stay around um and rick was one of those characters and <laughs> i mean obviously <laughs> um because you know he's the main character he's he's rick fucking grimes i mean you know what i mean um i felt like as long as andrew lincoln st stuck around the show would continue to adapt the comics and we would get to the commonwealth and if you know, the, once the comics get to issue 200 the show would adapt that the show would make it that far Maybe not issue 300, but issue 200, because um, that's that's close right now. To to um, the comics are almost there already. Just a little over a year, we'll have issue 200, and the show's catching up with the comics. So I was thinking, yeah, the, the show could it, it'd probably be like 14, 15, 16 seasons at the max, and tell the full Rick the full Rick Grimes story. But you know, he left, or he's he's about to leave. He's about to get killed. The character is about to get killed, um, and that kind of changes things. I think a lot of people are going to quit watching because they, you know, they don't want to watch The Walking Dead without Rick. Um, I understand where they're coming from. I want to give it a fair chance. Now, if the show is just absolute garbage once Rick dies, then yeah, I might be one of those people. It's just like, peace out, bye. Um, 
But then again, I'm a big, big, big Lenny James Morgan fan, so I'm just kind of happy he's still around right now. Um, even if he's not on The Walking Dead, that's just that just means he's staying alive. <laughs> Let's be honest. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Um, but uh, you know, it, 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 I'll I'll tell you this: if Morgan dies, I might be. I don't know what I'm gonna do with The Walking Dead franchise. I'm, I might start covering other things. You know, I mean, I'm gonna cover other things anyway. Uh, you know, expand the channel and stuff like that. But I'm getting off track. Um, I think that Rick's death could impact how long the the show lasts, the longevity of the original show, how many seasons it's going to get. Um, season 10 is pretty much a guarantee. I'm not even sure if it's been confirmed already. It, it doesn't really matter. We're going to get a season 10. There's no way the season 9 will be the last season. I, it, I would be shocked if the show got canceled at season 9. Like, give Angela King more than a year. I'd say she's already had a, a, a solid first episode. Let's get, give her a chance to actually handle Rick's exit. You know, ha have her, give her a chance to handle the story without Rick. You know, give her a fair chance. Um, so at least season 10. Um, and even though the ratings are going down, I think that it, it, it's still going to get a season 11. Um, now, season 12. I would say, yeah, yeah, why not? I mean, season 13 is where I'm a little iffy because The Walking Dead's still pretty popular. I think it's, it's, it's really, it really is, like I said, it's like Star Trek, Star Wars. Um, some of these things just don't get canceled. They're just too popular. Um, even if they suck, even if the quality goes down, there's going to be like the stupid fans, no offense, but like the stupid fans that, that watch it. You know, as long as there's money to be made, things usually continue. And, and The Walking Dead is, there's, it's definitely something that can continue to make money. The original show is something that can continue to make money. Um, now, I think it could get a season 9, or, uh, sorry, season 10, season 11, season 12, that, that gives the show three three more years four more years if you count the rest of nine to you know tell the story and to adapt the comic material and who knows maybe they could just get to a stopping point at that point i feel like the show is heading towards the third act it's definitely on the second act it's it, i don't think it's going to get 20 seasons now i think there could be a show like a spinoff about um you know an adult judith um but that's that's down the line i mean i, I don't want them to get I don't want them to be in a hurry to get to, to that point. I don't want them to do another big-ass time skip. I mean, we just had a big-ass time skip. You know what I mean? So I think season 10, season 11, season 12, eventually we're going to get a show about Judith. She's still alive for a reason, you know. Um, season 13, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That's where I'm a little iffy. I think I think eleven. I think ten, eleven, and twelve are guaranteed. Ten is definitely guaranteed. Um, and but if Angela Kang can make the story just beautiful and amazing without Rick Grimes, and people continue to watch, and maybe the ratings spike up a few times, yeah, we could get a season thirteen, season fourteen. Um, if the story is still good, then definitely. I hope you know. Um, but if it just seems like it's on its last legs and it's just a wild dying dog begging to be put out of its misery at season 12, then yeah, just just give give the show a proper ending. Give, give it like a beautiful ending or something, um, something that the fans will remember. And then do a spinoff of Judith. Because like I said, it's a franchise, it's a brand, there's money to be made. So, how many seasons do I think it will last at least 12 if it's still good and people still watch it, maybe 13, 14, 15. But, yeah, that's all I've got for this video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. How many seasons do you think The Walking Dead will last? Don't be shy. Hit, uh, hit that like and subscribe. I'm not going anywhere. I make one or two Walking Dead videos per day, so please hit that subscribe button. With all that said, I am Spencer Rhodes, and I will see you guys later. Bye.